This week is the Western Idaho State Fair in Boise, Idaho, and I got to walk around to see all the different booths and participate in all the fun things that are available at the fair. There were farmer farmer's market booths, beautiful produce that you could buy and take home, um, all the farm animals. I was a 4-H'er when I was younger, and the day I was there, I was able to watch some um, judging competitions. The kids were getting all their critters ready for show, and it just brought back such wonderful memories for me. I showed Fat Lamb, 4-H Fat Lamb, and to see all the kids hard at work and proud of their accomplishments was was endearing to me. Um, I enjoyed walking in the barns and seeing everybody hard at work. And then my granddaughter and I visited the carnival ride section and we had fair food. Who doesn't have fair food? I had lemonade and a teriyaki chicken bowl. It was very delicious. Visited the Traeger grill, de- grill dealer and saw this shirt and laughed out loud. I had to I had to take a picture of that. But I mainly went for the quilts. I like the quilts. Here's a blue and orange Boise State colors. It's a Judy Niemeyer and it won best in its division and the quilting was exquisite. It was um, a very well done quilt and it deserved the honors it was given. A lot of other traditional quilts and whimsical quilts, lots of quilts that were red and white and applique and quilts that um, I just enjoy going to the quilting section. I don't always enter something on my own, but I'm kind of shy in that department, but I enjoy looking at the quilts. Um, This one was a very traditional Burgoyne surrounded. And my last picture here before I get into my blocks is a version of Lemoyne Star and it was beautiful. But this week, I have seven blocks for you. Number 73 was called Water Wheel, and I needed this block. It was an easy block. The only thing I might do differently next time is each paddle on this block, I would make a different scrappy color. Um, I felt it was too boring the way I left it. Uh, 74 was geese, traditional um, flying geese quilt block. What more can I say? Really fun to put together. I I like the flying geese pattern, and um, I enjoyed this block because it's traditional, and I'm a traditional quilter. 75 was confetti and I kind of mixed and matched my confetti pieces uh, wanted a little bit different tone and value going on in the block um, instead of pinks and reds mine was multicolor. oh number 76 zigzag yeah see there I did not match my points um, tried a couple times couldn't quite get it so it is what it is um, but I loved this block. It was fun. Pinks and blues. One of my favorite color combinations. Number 77 was hopscotch. This one reminded me of a spider. I would definitely keep it done in black. Um, liked this block a lot. Um, I'm really enjoying the small, small pieces, even if I can't make the seams match up together. Um, 78 split wrench. I believe this is actually, yeah, 78 was split wrench. Just watch those pieces that are one and a quarter by one and an eighth. I caught myself, I almost had them sewing the wrong direction. So um, watch those tiny, tiny pieces. And number 79 is lace wing. Applique, I think I've mentioned this before, that I do not like applique. It's just not one of my favorite things. Um, I don't feel I'm good at it, and it's not just something I enjoy. But all in all, all the blocks were fun this week. It's been very hot here, and I had some downtime, so I sewed in air conditioning and um, just had a really good time with all my blocks. So enjoy the week, and Labor Day weekend and the end of summer is right around the corner. <music> 